Hello, and welcome to how I, Lawrence Peyote, came to own a Mini Cooper. Now, I showed the Mini Cooper on uh, the Facebook, took some photos of it, and I got the responses that I was looking for, basically, was how you fit in that car. Because most people know me, know I stand about six foot three, three quarters. Well, a little shrinkage, but you know, I'm no, I'm no small guy. All right, and uh, so that's a reasonable question to ask, with some bewilderment, I uh, imagine. But anyway, how I came to own this Mini Cooper? Hold on here. Woo! Hair the dog, baby. Hair the dog. All right. So anyway, I have a 1996 Lincoln that served me really well. Um, has 67,000 miles on it. Dual exhaust, because most Lincolns do. And it's uh, the anniversary model. And that's why I bought it, because it was the uh, dual exhaust. When I saw that car, I said, that's for me. I never had a car with dual exhaust. Um, and it served me very well. The car was fast as all get out, all right, and it just smoked. The problem is where I lived in, in Lynn, Massachusetts, uh, was on the Saugus River. Uh, basically, the inlet uh, from uh, the Boston Harbor, or uh, the ocean in that section of the world, uh, right off of Lynn uh, and Winthrop and all that. That I guess, I guess that's the Boston Harbor. Anyway, Liedemann's Landing, okay? And the water came up, and it flooded, and I mean, we really got flooded bad. I mean, one year we had a mini tsunami. I mean, a mini tsunami, and that water was so high. We had uh, timbers, uh, uh, railroad ties uh, for the back porch or stoop, all right? And those ended up down the street and around the corner. That's how much water we got. I think that was in, what, 2006 or something like that? So that salt water, that salt, and plus the salt and ice from the winter destroyed the undercarriage, and the undercarriage is garbage, okay? It's, just, it's a damn shame. The engine is, 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 is mint. I mean, the thing, the torque still pulls. I mean, you can still, I can get rubber out of that car. But the fact was, it came to uh, every time I had to do something, catalytic converter. Mind you, the car is what, 30 years old? How old is that car? 1996? Over 20. 20 years old. And, uh... And then I had a, a carbon filter job that I needed to do that. And so everything that had to be done, fuel pumps, anything like that, had to be sheared off. And it all added up to $1,000 a pop. And I said, no, 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 I'm all done with that. Okay, I love that car, but I'm done with that. So off to get a new car. Now, Carol did everything. Okay, my wife did everything. She's, she's I mean, she's really something. Okay, she found the Mini Cooper. She found a couple of Kias. I mentioned I would get into a Kia. See, I wanted to make a political statement. I, I didn't want to have to suffer when gas prices go up as they are now. I didn't want to worry about that, okay? If my wife needed to drive a car and the gas is getting really high, $4, you know, it could happen. It's happening now. It's going up now. And she could drive that car to work. So, you know, that's what I, that's what my intended, my intended, uh, my, my intention. Uh, so, uh, it was a Kia I was looking at, and I also was looking at the Prius or the smart car. I want to make a political statement. I want to I want to put my money where my mouth is, okay? Because it's a damn shame when gas prices go up and you're driving a gas guzzler. You know what I'm saying? One of them big-ass SUVs. So, anyway, Carol found the deal, and she said, I see this Mini Cooper. And I said, Mini Cooper? And she says, oh, man, that's, I want a Mini Cooper. She says, you can't fit into a Mini Cooper, and I told her the story. The story goes like this. In about 2002, 2003, Samuel L. Jackson started a movie called Formula 51. In that movie, he's in the UK, Scotland, Ireland, or, 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 or England, and he is driving a fucking Mini Cooper with a Union Jack and everything, I think. Now, I had known what the Mini Cooper was. I, you see him all the time, and you can't miss him. And I always thought, wow, what a little sharp car. But I never thought about it, because I'm driving a Lincoln, all right? Nothing beats the Lincoln. Stinking Lincoln. So, off we go. We get to the car lot, the car dealership, and they got all, you know, you know how it is, car dealership. And I jump right in that Kia, because I want to see if I can fit in the Kia. Well, with a seat adjustment, I'm like, got plenty of headroom, and I'm in this car. And I said, oh, we're good to go. But that's not what I came for. I went to uh, reconnaissance the Mini Cooper, and see if I can get in that sucker. So, 
fair salesman, showed him the, the printout. He says, well, I don't know. We'll have to see if that car is still here. My heart sank a little bit, but I, you know, keep a stiff upper lip is what I always say. I said, oh, hell no. That car got to be here. And it was. And when I saw it, I fell in love with it. You know, and, you know, now I, I know this, but even the paint job, silver, vel uh, velvet, silver, metallic, I think it is. The uh, silver, metallic, velvet, whatever. That's the color of the paint. And it's got the racing stripes. And I got in that car, folks. I adjusted the seat. And I was in with plenty of headroom. And next thing, we were off to, you know, a drive, a, a test drive. And I fell in love with that car. I was consumed with that car. Now, down to the art of the deal. My wife broke this deal. Okay? And I'm going to tell you this. She saved me about $3,000. Is that right, baby? $3,000? About three thousand dollars, I got. I, I, I less I got that car for, if that's the way the vernacular goes. I don't even know. Send tax, whatever. Um, and I was happy with it. It fit my budget, and then I and that's how I came to own the Mini Cooper. Just as simple as that. Uh, so to answer the people, the spec, uh, the the skeptics out there, oh, I fit in that car just by now. Of course, the, I have not taken the road trip. With either San Diego or the Grand Canyon. Most likely San Diego because I haven't been there in years. I've been to the Grand Canyon, okay? So we want to jet over to San Diego, over to Humphreys by the sea. You feel me? You feel me? Down to OB, my stomping grounds, right? Hell, we're going to cover all the beaches. Mission Beach, La Jolla Beach, Pacific Beach. We're going to hit them all. Woo! You know what I'm saying? But that trip will tell me how I fit in that Mini Cooper. But for all practical reasons and concerns, where do I go? Down the street and around the corner, I go to the VA, okay? I might have to pick up a little side gig here, just for the hell of it. I thought I'd learn uh, my way around, and the Mini Cooper is great for that. No longer will I suffer from when gas starts, prices start going up, because, you know, if you want to go to the Grand Canyon, you go, you know, that's that's a ways from where we're at. How far is that, Grand Canyon, Carol? Yeah, two, and a half hours. two and a half hours. So that's how I came to own the Mini Cooper. Political statement, it's a sports car. Man, this is a this is a sports car. It's got 160 on, on the speedometer on the odometer. Or is that the speedometer? The speedometer. Alright, I'm not gonna get into that, but there it is. And with that I have to wrap it up. That's how I came to own a Mini Cooper. So once again I say yes, people, I can fit just fine that Mini Cooper. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a fun car to drive. I'll give you just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. The shifting on it is the same as a BMW. And it has driver select and it has manual one through six. And boy, you don't have to do it. There's no clutch or anything like that. When I hit that goddamn drive select, it turns into a sports car. When I go to goddamn manual one to six, get off me. Get off me. I'll take you right off the line and you won't see me next time I look up. You'll be far behind in my rearview mirror. You heard?